Welcome to Pro Wrestling's Best News for May 19th, 2023. Endeavor's Chief Operating Officer Mark Shapiro spoke with the Sports Media Podcast this week and discussed new revenue opportunities that WWE is exploring in the wake of the recently announced WWE Endeavor merger. Addressing the topic of sports betting, which many states have legalized lately, Shapiro indicated that WWE may have difficulties in the sports betting world, saying, I don't think WWE, because it's scripted, that's ever going to be a growth strategy for them. Shapiro also acknowledged the possibility of increasing sponsorship and apparel deals that would place advertisements on the ring mat or on wrestler apparel, saying, We're not going to over-commercialize it. We're not going to saturate it to the point that we cheap it out and trick it out and you turn off the fan base. You can read more on this story at eWrestlingNews.com. WWE's Trish Stratus became an official ambassador to the city of Niagara Falls on Monday when she was given the key to the city by the mayor. Though Stratus's hometown is Toronto, she became a fixture of Niagara Falls as one of the hosts of Canada's Got Talent, which is hosted in Niagara Falls. Stratus thanked the city officials for the honor and said, When I was told by Mayor Jim that they would be bestowing this honor on me, the first thing I said was, But I'm just a wrestler. You can read more on this story at thestar.com. CM Punk will be honored by the Cauliflower Alley Club with their 2023 Iron Mike Mazurki Award. The award, given to individuals who have made exceptional contributions to professional wrestling and have exhibited outstanding dedication to the sport, both inside and outside the ring, will be presented at the Cauliflower Alley Club's annual awards banquet in August. You can read more on this story at eWrestlingNews.com. The recently announced merger of WWE and Endeavor is going to make a lot of people a lot of money, according to the Financial Times this week. The Rain Group, a banking group advising WWE on the merger, is set to receive a $65 million payday for their advising services when the deal officially closes later this year. The Rain Group has worked closely with WWE and the McMahon family for more than 20 years and advised on several financial matters, including the relaunch of the XFL. Banking Group Groups J.P. Morgan and Molis are also set to each make $25 million for their advisement services in regards to the merger. You can read more on this story at WrestlingInc.com. That's Pro Wrestling's best news for today. Please subscribe to the Spanish Announce Table at SpanishAnnounceTable.net to get daily content like this news, podcasts, match reviews and suggestions, and more delivered right to your inbox.